Hey everybody, my name is Sergey and I'm a part of Rogwars, the studio behind Sherlock Holmes games and The Sinking City. This time I wanted to answer some more of your questions about Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. If you haven't seen the previous video on this topic, I'll leave a link below. Now let's see the first question. I'm really curious about John. So far we know it's Sherlock's best friend. Can you tell us a bit more about him? What I can tell you is that John met Sherlock in London, when they both were eight, and they basically became brothers. They both moved to the island together with Sherlock's family a few years later. John's always been there for Sherlock, especially when his mother died. But as you can imagine, it's not easy being Sherlock's friend. And so at the end of the game, this relationship will probably not be what it was in the beginning. Will we see other, younger Sherlock characters like Mycroft, Irene, Lestrade? Some familiar characters will make an appearance in Chapter 1, but I cannot tell you which ones. There is probably some that you'd expect, and some that you don't. Will there be a Chapter 2 game? Also, is there any planned DLC, paid or free, for extra costumes, new quests, etc.? Uh, we do get this question a lot, but we did not name it Chapter 1 because it was supposed to be a series of episodes, but because we wanted to explore the rise of the quote-unquote origin of Sherlock Holmes. We want to tell a very specific story, and we do not have any plans to make a direct sequel to this game, at least at this point. As for the DLC, yeah, probably, both free and paid. I'm interested in the observation aspect. What is that going to look like? In previous games, you could observe a person whilst interviewing them. Oh yeah, you'll still be able to gather some info through the character observation feature, but because Sherlock is so young and he's yet to master his skills, he might misinterpret this info and reach a wrong conclusion. My favorite part was when I did exactly that and chose the wrong one, and then Sherlock proceeded to tell the person what he just learned about them, in an utterly arrogant manner. And of course, what he was saying was wrong, so the other person was like, what the hell are you even talking about? Will it have heavy combat like the Sinking City, or just mainly detective work like the previous Sherlock Holmes games? There is combat in this game, but like we've said before, it only takes place where it's justified by the story. You cannot attack random people on the streets, as we don't think it fits the character, and you're encouraged to take the non-lethal approach. However, if things come to shove, it is possible to shoot and kill an enemy. This will have certain consequences. For instance, it may worsen your relationship with your friend John, but we do not want to take away this option and make you guys feel forced to use only one playstyle. I'm really interested in Sherlock's new look. Can you describe a little your inspirations, design process for Jan Holmes? Our main sources of inspiration are, of course, the books and stories by Conan Doyle. And we are also looking, to a lesser degree, at other sources, say Peter Pan, that helped us refine the story and the undertones of the game. Coming back to Sherlock, we did get a lot of questions on why he looks the way he looks, and actually his sweet innocence and playful naivety has several points. First, we wanted to show how much of a stranger he is to the rest of the island. When people dismiss you because of your looks, it's even more difficult to prove yourself. Second, third and fourth will let you figure out yourself after you've played the game. Oh, and we do have a video that should give you some answers too. The link is in the description. With this installment being a personal story for Sherlock, will we get to experience more of his personal relationships, like the first meeting of Holmes and Watson, and see how their relationship develops? This is absolutely a personal story of Sherlock Holmes, and you will see how his relationships are formed, but probably not the ones you are thinking of. Sherlock's first meeting with Watson is not the point of this game, but at the same time you will see how he grows as a character and how he transforms into the more traditional, instantly recognizable Sherlock. Okay, let's quickly take a look at the last few questions now. Can Holmes drive a vehicle? Mm, no, at least not in this game. Is this game coming to Stadia? Right now we are fully focused on PC as well as the current and last-gen consoles, after that, we might consider a Stadia version, but I cannot confirm anything. Is this gonna be on Nintendo Switch 2? Same as above, really. It may or may not happen after we release the game. We'll keep you updated. Alright, thank you all for watching this video. There is more of this stuff coming. And in the meantime, stay tuned and have a nice day.